The situation at PSG this summer has been a real roller coaster. PSG are currently negotiating the terms of Mauricio Pochettino's departure, as it looks like they are finally ready to appoint a new manager. Christopher Gaultier looks set to be the new man at the helm of the Parisians. And yet, at the start of the summer, there were very different names on the shortlist for the PSG hot seats. More household names definitely, with bigger European pedigrees. So what exactly happened? Why are the clubs settling on the appointment of a relatively unknown name for probably one of the most difficult managerial jobs in the world? And what happened to those big names we heard all about at the start of the transfer window? Well, we'll break all of this down on this edition of the Football Breakdown. PSG managerial job looks like something of a poison chalice. Big name managers have been there in the past decade, even some that have gone on to achieve great success after the job in Paris. And yet, none could deliver for them the way the PSG hierarchy would want. Mauricio Pochettino is the latest victim of this. Argentine was beloved for the work he did at Tottenham to turn them into Champions League finalists. And yet, at PSG, despite winning the league comfortably, he's been viewed as something of a disaster. Similarly, Thomas Tuchel before him, who has since gone on to prove his managerial nows at Chelsea. Some might also forget names like Unai Emery and Carlo Ancelotti have all managed this team. The threshold of success at this team is quite high, probably higher than any other club in Europe. Based purely on the amount of money being invested in the club, it is also the reason why managers have failed to to deliver in the past, with this being somewhat of a double-edged sword. The big names on the roster come with the egos of top players and, at times, it has been difficult for the managers to get them playing as a cohesive unit, much to the detriment of the collective success. We've seen this squad bottle it on several occasions, in the Champions League especially, which also speaks to the mental frailty of the collective, a side which doesn't have the pedigree of a Real Madrid or a Bayern Munich. And, does not have the history of winning on a European level. This failure ultimately requires a fall guy. More often than not, it's the manager who takes that responsibility. It's why both Jose Mourinho and more tellingly Zinedine Zidane have turned down the chance to coach this team. The job is certainly a lucrative one, probably the most lucrative in Europe right now, but the cost if success isn't achieved instantly, is the reputation of the manager taking a hit, sometimes unfairly. With Mourinho, the Roma manager is currently in the process of rebuilding his somewhat tattered reputation, and so, he wouldn't want to go down this road, at least not just yet. And for Zidane, well, the French manager goes down in history as the only manager to win back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Champions League trophies. But, there have been question marks over his ability to do this with a team without the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Gareth Bale, and Karim Benzema. And maybe, the manager wouldn't want to risk that being exposed with a team that have notoriously bottled big European games in the past. So, that's why I think managers are a little hesitant about joining the PSG project. Of course, this is purely conjecture, so I could most certainly be wrong. However, if you did enjoy the video, then please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. For your daily dose of transfer news, please visit our website telecomasia.net. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.